It was pitched as a tried and true plan to spruce up downtown Rochester and attract more visitors. Having watched it in action in other places, local groups rallied around the effort to create what's called a business improvement district or bid. Downtown property owners would put in money to pay for services beyond what the city was already taking care of, things like beautification and marketing. But recently, the proposal was pulled rather suddenly. The piece now explores what might have happened here. The hope had been to have the bid in place by this fall, followed in short order by various programs designed to make downtown sparkle. But after two years of work by those with a nonprofit called Partnership for Downtown Rochester, the bid proposal got yanked, with PDR telling News 8, after much consideration, it was clear that there was not the political will necessary to successfully establish a business improvement district in downtown Rochester. Yes, the bid proposal had some grassroots opposition from a group that claimed it would have primarily benefited developers and property owners. Also, of the nine members of Rochester City Council, four stood solidly opposed to the bid. But Council Member Mike Patterson says it remained possible to secure the remaining five votes. I think it's disingenuous for them to not fully share the reasoning behind their pulling their proposal. Patterson and Mike Rivera with the union that represents many city workers claim the bid got pulled because of one demand, union work for appropriate projects. We presented a letter and just basically said, any kind of work that's done downtown, my people already do it, we would expect it to be AFSCME members. If you want to use public power for your particular ends, you have to balance the interests that the public has in, in meeting the needs of the larger community. And employment is one of those concerns. In response to their claim, PDR said this, it is important to note that the proposed plan for a downtown Rochester business improvement district included a clear commitment to preserve and fund union jobs. Additionally, the plan called for the facilitation of unionization for staff of a future business improvement district. But Patterson says facilitation is not a guarantee and adds if PDR changes their mind, they'd find him ready to consider the plan. PDR, though, said what's done is done and they're now considering other paths to prosperity. Also, those with PDR say they'll also continue to support current programs like the entertainment series called Downtown Definitely.